What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I've had a lot of you guys asking me about a reel you've been seeing me use in some of my recent videos. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Cast King Sharky 3 bait feeder reel. Bluegill. Pull and drag, pull and drag. This may be a decent fish, y'all. All right, guys, I'm excited to come to you today and talk to you about this Cast King Sharky 3 bait feeder reel. Uh, coming to you about a year after making this purchase so definitely put this reel to the test in the last year that I've owned it if you guys have been watching the channel you've seen me catch several pretty reasonable sized catfish uh, definitely not going to call them giants by any means but we're still on the hunt for those um, anyway this reel definitely helped me out in that pursuit uh, last year around this time made the decision to start targeting big fish and wanted to kind of up my game this reel definitely came through with that some of the things that uh, I was looking at prior to purchasing was I was kind of on the fence on, on making the jump to a bait casting reel or sticking with the spin and tackle that I've always used all my life. Um, wasn't quite ready to make that jump to bait casting reels, so made the purchase of this Cast King Sharky 3 bait feeder. Um, and it, it really gives you a lot of, of solid options that some of the bait casting equipment's going to give you but keeps you in your comfort zone. You know, if this if spinning tackle is your comfort zone, uh, this reel is definitely going to give you those same options. Uh, some things that, that I really like about this reel, uh, coming out of the box, it comes with two spools. The spool that's on the reel is going to be a braid-ready spool. Going to be an aluminum spool and holds 300 yards of 60-pound braid. But the secondary spool is going to be your mono spool, which is something that's crucial. Uh, if you guys are fishing a lot of structure, a lot of rocks, wood, stuff like that, you're probably going to want to be throwing mono instead of braid. So having this spooled in with you is just a quick, easy change right there at the water and you're right back out fishing. Um, reel handle is going to be something that I really liked as well. It's got the power handle, so it really allows you to get some good leverage on those fish. Uh, the other thing I've seen some people have some concerns with is going to be whether or not this reel is reversible in regards to the reel handle. It is reversible. You can swap that out on left or right. So regardless, if you're a lefty or a righty, you can put it on the side that you're most comfortable with. Uh, biggest thing, circling back, like I said, uh, the bait feeder option. I personally had never heard of a bait feeder up until last year around this time. Uh, so this option was really, really crucial to me. And what a bait feeder is, the lever here on the back, that engages your bait feeder. Uh, you've got an adjustable rear drag to adjust the tension on that bait feeder as well. So if you want to tighten it down, loosen it up, I personally leave it all the way loose because what your bait feeder does, it's going to allow, your, allow the fish to pick up your bait and run with it with absolutely no resistance. The other thing you notice there, you've got, you got the clicker on there. That's key. Fishing at night, man, bugs can get bad and you don't want to be sitting around with lights on fighting the bugs. So listening for the clicker is crucial. Kick your headlight on, you're hooked up. Um, the other big thing, using circle hooks. <clears throat> using circle hooks uh, with the bait feeder option allows the fish to really get the bait swallowed more and so when you reel down on that fish, you're going to get more consistent hookups. So biggest and best option, in my opinion, of that reel is the bait feeder option. The other big part is going to be cost. Cost is key. Um, I've got a family, and so, you know, I try to keep my fishing investments fairly reasonable. This reel, um, when I purchased it from Amazon last year, was $59.99. And I tell you, for the cost, you really couldn't get a better reel. Sure, there's other reels out there that are definitely going to be more expensive, and I'm sure they've got maybe a few more bells and whistles, things of that nature, but uh, for the cost of $59.99, adding one of these to up your game, I think, is a pretty reasonable investment. Um, some specifications on the reel. Um, 
I'm using the 6000 series reel. They do make some smaller versions. I believe the smaller version's uh, a 3000 series. So there's going to be some differences there. On the 6000 series reel, has a, a 551 gear ratio. Um, going to be a 10 plus ball bearing, uh, 10 plus one ball bearing. And then it's got a max drag of 26 and a half pounds. Um, so it's really got some nice specifications. It's got a good carbon fiber drag system. I've, I haven't had any issues with this reel at all. I have seen some reviews that some folks have said that the reel seat is just a little bit weak, uh, that they've noticed some flex in fighting some bigger fish. Again, I mean, I've, I've, I've caught some pretty good fish. In fact, one of my recent videos, you guys saw me uh, bring in a 26 pound flathead. Oh yeah, we got old Mr. Flathead today, y'all. There he is. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Easy. Oh. All right, guys. This right here is why I do it. Nailed this big old tanker. Beautiful, beautiful fish, guys. No problem, in my opinion. No flex at all. Now, when we get into those 40 50 pound fish we'll test it out on those they're coming but uh at this point i don't have any any real uh, drawbacks on this reel as you'll notice i'm the kind of guy that keeps his boxes so you know what you're going to see when you get this reel definitely a quality box quality packaging they do package it nicely and it's in its own bag so it keeps the reel nice when it's being shipped to you uh, if you're storing your reels over the winter, let's say you you know you're not not using them, good place to keep them, keep the dust off of them, things like that. Uh, some of the other things I've read is there's um, what Cast King refers to as the Kiss system, which basically seals the internal components of this reel to protect it against saltwater use. Uh, it's really a, a reel that I think is targeted more for saltwater use. So that not being an issue for me, uh, salt water is not going to be a problem, but dust, dirt, things of that nature, when you're out fishing, um, sand, things like that, it's going to keep that dirt and grime out of your gears and, again, make this reel last a lot longer. So if you guys are looking to, to upgrade uh, your spinning tackle, try something that uh, is going to give you a little bit better versatility, uh, some better options out on the water, Definitely would recommend the Cast King Sharky 3 bait feeder reel. Um, it's a good investment. Definitely a good investment. So you guys check that out. Link for this is down below in the description. If you found this video informative, uh, please hit the like button. Drop a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. There's going to be definitely some great content to come. For some of you guys that are regular around the channel, I want to let you know there's some big things happening. We're getting close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, and that means I'm going to have a giveaway coming up. You guys definitely want to keep an eye out for that. And uh, got a merchandise store. If you guys haven't hit that, you can get your Jigging with Jake merchandise. Head on over to the Jigging with Jake Facebook page, guys. There's a link pinned to the top of that page that's going to route you to the Jigging with Jake online shop. We've got uh, all kinds of great merchandise options you guys can pick up. Show a little support to the channel. Um, got some upgrades coming soon that I'm thinking about. So uh, definitely give me the ability to bring some better videos out to you guys. So thank you all for watching. Definitely uh, appreciate every single one of you guys. I uh, want to give a shout out real quick to Anglin with Arley. If you guys haven't checked them out, they've got a great group on Facebook as well. Head on over there, give those guys a like. They do a lot for the fishing community over in, in Iowa. So good group of guys there. Always welcome some good uh, fishing content too. So you're welcome to post your pic fishing pictures, if I can talk. You're welcome to post your fishing pictures, fishing videos, stuff like that. Those guys welcome that stuff. So anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. Remember folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see you on the next one.